what are the newer areas of research in tumor markers and tumor immunology? Newer frontiers are genomics, a new science called genomics or gene structures are being studied. Proteonomics, the protein structures of tumors, tumor proteins and tumor related proteins. Pharmacogenomics, where gene based drug structuring and drug delivery for the patients depending on the genomics, the pharmacology is tailored. G scan, human genome mapping. New treatment modalities based on pharmacogenomics, proteonomics, and then G scan and genomics. Individualized treatment modalities based on pharmacogenetics. Early detection of malignant change in the cells before actually the malignant process has clinically surfaced. Greater sensitivity and specificity is being attained in the tumor marker so that they can be used as good diagnostic tools. Of course, better monitoring and follow up care of a tumor patient will prolong a useful and good quality life for the um, patients of tumors. So these are some of the newer areas that are being looked into and a lot of research is, is there is going on in these areas. So before we conclude, let us recapitulate some of the important uh, aspects that we have discussed. I have given you a host of tumor markers, names, uh, how they are detected, their utilities and all that. Among them, the ones that are being commonly used today in clinical practice and recommended by various uh, oncology associations are these are the following ones. Alpha fetoproteins in hepatoma, AFP, carcinoembryonic antigen in GA tumors, carcinoembryonic antigen CEA in biliary system tumors and cancer breast, cancer antigen 125 in ovarian cancer, cancer antigen CA153 in breast cancer, cancer antigen 199 in colon and pancreatic tumor, and prostate specific antigen in prostatic tumors and prostatic cancer. Apart from them, the breast cancer, estrogen receptors, and also the breast cancer, BRCA1 and 2 genes, the HER are also important. So these are some of the common tumor markers which we need to remember and their application. Remember, tumor markers are not uh, highly uh, specific and sensitive diagnostic tests. In the result, there could be false positives and false negatives. So one need to be aware of these facts. Nonetheless, tumor markers may not be the answer for every tumor to be di diagnosed. Of course, the ultimate diagnosis rests on biopsy, but for follow-up, for staging, for prognostication, for tailoring the treatment, for early detection and sometimes in screening, tumor markers will come in very handy. This slide depicts the same information which is presented in the previous slide uh, with a diagram so that one will remember more clearly when you are looking at carcinoma of the lung, look for CA125 or carcinoembryonic antigen. If you are looking for carcinoma of the liver, hepatoma, particularly in high risk patients with HBV and HCV, look for alpha pro fetoproteins or AFP. If you are looking for prostate cancer in a man with prostate enlargement and look for PSA, particularly the free to total PSA ratio. If you are looking for testicular tumors, then look for AFP alpha fetoproteins and beta HCG in a man. When you look at women in breast cancer, CA125, carcinoembryonic antigen, human epidermal receptor 2 uh, tumor marker. If you are looking for stomach cancers in either sex, carcinoembryonic antigen, pancreatic cancers, CA125 and carcinoembryonic antigen. In colon cancers, of course, carcinoembryonic antigen. In cancers of the ovary, CA125 and CEA also are important. In adenocarcinoma also, CA125 is important. With this, uh, I think we have covered most of the important uh, areas of tumor markers. And if you have any questions, I request you to please uh, discuss those things before we end our uh, today's CME. And those of you who are viewing this presentation of mine from the web can write to me to my email address for any clarifications that can be shown to you.